Hi and welcome to the channel. Now, if you're thinking about building an observatory, then this is definitely the video for you. So as a builder of 38 years, let me show you how to build the ultimate automated roll off roof observatory from scratch using my very own design. Now I'll share with you some building tips and tricks along the way. So if you wanna follow this build to the end, where I'll show you how to open and close the roof in a sequence with Nina, then hit that like and subscribe button, tick the little bell, and then you won't miss the next installment of this build. So let's get started. My name is Simon and you're watching Simon's Astro. So this is the first part of stage one. That is where I'm going to dig the foundation from a pier. I'm going to be putting in a 11 inch pier, about 1500 high. It's going to fit nicely in this corner. It's going to be two and a half meters long by 2.1 meters wide. And that mark in the middle is where the pier is going to go. And that's going to be a foundation dug out that's going to be 600 square by about 500 deep. So, my entire observatory is currently stored in my garage. I've just got to find the time to build it now. So, this is a major part of my new observatory. You probably guessed this is the tube that I'm going to use to create the pier. It's rather large, bigger than I expected actually. It's five foot tall and 11 inches across. So, the idea of painting the inside of the tube with polyurethane is to actually protect the cardboard once I've poured all the concrete into it and that will just help to keep the moisture directly off the cardboard at least for a little while longer and just let the concrete set once it's set completely I can then tear the cardboard off after two or three days so Curry, if you can dig me a hole over there please that'd be great yeah that's it and put the dirt in the wheelbarrow yeah. that'd be lovely yeah I want it about two foot deep please Lovely. Thanks, mate. You missed a bit, Corey. So the foundation for the pier is now complete, and I did dig it myself, I promise. Uh, it might look a bit of overkill. There's some steel reinforcing in the hole. That is 600 square by 600 deep. And 16 mil rebar is coming up, which will come into the tube. And that tube will sit over there. And the concrete for the foundation and the pier will all be poured in one go all at the same time. Okay, so I've now got to drill a hole in the bottom of the tube so I can put my pipe in for the cables. And this is just a standard 40mm waste pipe. The most important part of the build is the pier. So what I've done, I've purchased some disc brakes. These, believe it or not, are for a Land Rover. And these are quite heavy. They come in pairs. And what I'm going to do, I've got a friend who is an engineer. He's going to drill some holes in here for me. And I will position the two discs like this. And in this bottom plate, I'm going to get him to drill some holes so I can put some threaded rod down into the actual concrete pier. I'm going to get him to drill a hole and tap it for me so I can put my north pin in. And luckily, this centre hole is exactly the same size as the hole on the top of my tripod. It's 65mm, which the EQ6R Pro should fit in that hole exactly. Okay, just to show you how this fits, this is the disc. And it fits very nicely over the base of the EQ6R Pro. If you can see that, 
fits a tree. There is no movement at all. Once I get a plate welded across here with a hole in it, all I've got to do is put a bolt in to do the bolt up and it will be nice and tight. So this is the mount sitting on the top and as you can see it moves nicely. So what I've got to do now is measure exactly where this square pin has got to go. So I'm going to undo the pin, measure the distance from the centre of the hole to the edge of this hole here and then transfer that mark onto the top of this disc in here. Well I'm really quite impressed with this. This is my pier adapter that I just had made up. So I've had this metal plate welded on underneath with this little short piece of rod which will screw into the bottom of the mount. And I've got my north pin which I've stolen off my EQ6R Pro so that will go there somewhere. And these are stainless steel sleeves which makes it look a little bit nicer than threaded rod and they're stainless steel threads which will go down into the concrete pier so i'm now going to take this all to bits and give it a coat of red oxide paint and then i think i'm going to finish it with a nice color blue so here it is all stripped down first thing i'm going to do is give it a coat of this red oxide primer and when that's dry i'll give it couple of coats of this nice blue color and this is a lagger which I will put on top as a protective coat so first thing I've got to do is clean all these grease marks off so all the preparations done and I'm now gonna fill it full of concrete. I've got my pipe in for the cable, and all the rebar's in there, and that's nicely leveled. So the concrete mix is a four to one ratio. There's four ballast to one cement. And the concrete is going into the foundation with the steel reinforcement in place. Right, as you can see, I've had to reinforce the supports. I screwed these two long pieces into the ground. That's to keep the bottom from moving. And now these four angled pieces are holding it perfectly upright. Um, that should be in the center. It is just about the center. So, now to pour the concrete in the tube and hope it stays in that position. And it's a good idea to consolidate the concrete by using a stick or a rod of some sort and uh, that will get all of the air bubbles out. Okay, so this is probably the most important part of the lot. It's a good idea at this stage to make sure that the north pin is actually pointing towards the north. Okay, so the adapter's in place and I've got the pin pointing to north. That's pretty close as best I can get. Should be able to get exactly to north with the adjustments on the mount itself. So that's in. I'll just wait for that to go off a bit and then I can clean that up. But uh, it's in position and I'm quite happy with that. So I've wedged it up now and I'm going to leave it like this for a few hours. That's just to make sure that it doesn't sink or move its position. So that's the pier complete and that worked very well. I'm very happy with that. Now the next stage of the job will be the concrete base and the walls. So if you want to check that out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, I hope you liked the video and even found it useful and hopefully picked up some tips along the way. 
So uh, thanks again for watching, and as always, I wish you all clear skies.